Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our last Lenten Sunday School. The next time I see you guys will be uh, for a Sunday School on Easter morning. Also, on Easter morning, I hope to see you guys in person. We are offering a very special service out in the courtyard uh, for families. Now, we're encouraging anyone with children, uh, fifth grade and younger, to come on by and enjoy a family service in the courtyard outside Hauser Hall for Easter Sunday. That'll be at 9 o'clock on Easter morning. More information will be coming about that, but I hope that you guys are excited about maybe coming to church on Easter and celebrating with us in person on Easter morning. I know I'm very excited about seeing you all that morning as well. Um, additionally, uh, I will be here online on Easter morning uh, with some incredible coloring work that you guys do. I'm gonna do some coloring work as well. Uh, coloring, we have four different coloring pages that we're sending out uh, via email and, and on the website. Uh, you can download one or all of them. You can color one or all of them, but I hope to see a whole bunch of coloring pages coming into me so that I can go ahead and display some of our amazing work here at St. Mark's on Easter morning. Uh, both you guys that are at, in, that, that are of the age to be at Sunday school for uh, pre-K through fifth grade, uh, if you're in the youth group here, or if you're a grown up, anybody is welcome to do some coloring. I'm gonna do a coloring page and submit it. I think Susanna and Dr. Spencer are gonna do one as well. It's, I'm really excited to have you guys do that and hopefully that you guys, uh, I'll, I'll get a whole bunch of those in there and be excited to share those with you on Easter Sunday. Today, I want you to think about a question. What does Lent mean to you? So like, what does Lent mean? I've asked that question of several of our staff members here at St. Mark's and several of them were kind enough to take some time to video themselves responding to that question. And I wanted to take a few minutes and go over this idea with you. What does Lent mean to you? Now we've talked about it in terms of the church. We talked about it in resisting temptation. We've talked about spending time in solitude and seeking God in prayer and in our alone quiet time. We've talked about why we do it because we're emulating a lot of what Jesus did. But what does Lent mean to you? Take a few minutes, listen to some of our church staff here, and so you'll recognize several of them, I hope. Uh, some good friends of mine talking about what Lent means to them. And I hope very much that you guys will answer that question when all is said and done. We'll see you back here in a few minutes after they're done chatting. We'll talk to you soon. Howdy. I've been asked to speak a little bit about what Lent means to me. Um, you know, in Lent, we always, or we try to give something up. Um, you know, I gave up fast food, which I love cheeseburgers, so that was really hard. But you give up little things that makes you think of Easter and what's coming. So a little sneak peek is in the life of the church, we strip the altar, everything's gone, even the cross, which is something uh, normally is always there, no matter what season it is, what colors we've got. But the good news is, is it's all coming back on Easter Sunday. And same thing with our Lenten practices. You know, I gave up cheeseburgers and fast food, but guess what? On Easter, I'm gonna go to Whataburger because Jesus is back, he's raised from the dead, and it gives us a, a new hope. So that's what Lent means to me. During the season of Lent, I reconnect with God through daily prayer. You can structure your prayers in three parts. Number one, give thanks for all the blessings in your life. Number two, pray for those that you know are in need. And number three, ask God for forgiveness for your sins. I hope that you will take this time during Lent to reconnect to God and hopefully your daily practice of prayer will carry on through the rest of the year. Hey guys, I've been asked to tell you guys about what Lent means to me, and I'm excited to tell you that Lent means a lot to me. Um, the world moves so fast. Everything happens so fast in our world. Um, and as we get older, everything starts happening faster and faster. It's like a fast race car that goes around in a circle. And sometimes it feels like we can't stop the, the race. And um, it's nice to be reminded to slow down and remember why we are uh, in this season of Lent to remember about the what is to come and the sacrifice Jesus made for us and how important it is. So Lent means a lot to me because it's a reminder to me to slow down and remember why it is we are in the middle of Lent and why and what is to come when Easter arrives. So love you guys. 
Hey, Cameron Hammond here. I am happy to reflect on what Lent means to me. And um, I will say that Lent is the first uh, season of the church calendar that I observed as a new Christian in my 20s. Um, and I appreciate the space it asks us to make in our lives for reflection and prayer and uh, thoughtful contemplation. Hey, everyone. Um Lent's important to me because it's a time of year when I get to just focus on where God is in my life. Instead of trying to focus on everything else that's going on, I get to set aside a few weeks to really just think about where is God in my life and how can I honor God with my time and with my skills and with my words and with my relationships. And that's why Lent is really important to me. All right, it's good to be back. Um, thank you so much to everybody that contributed to that. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit of something about how we here at the church think about Lent and why it's important to us. And hopefully you guys will continue to search in your hearts and see and, and discover reasons why Lent is important in the life of the church and in your own lives as well. All right, y'all, we will uh, not be here next weekend. Uh, we will be back, uh, hopefully, with your coloring pages for Easter Sunday. I'm very excited to see some of those come in. And uh, then we'll continue after Easter with uh, some guests uh, talking about the season of Easter and the life of renewal in the church. In the meantime, if you've made Lenten promises, please hold to them. Please remember, though, as Gregory said, that the hope is there. We are waiting the resurrection. You guys are wonderful. I am excited to see you guys, hopefully on Easter Sunday here in person. And I will see you then. In the meantime, be safe, be well. God be with you.